King Cobra vs. Python Who would win a fight between these two snakes? The Python and the King Cobra are two of the world's largest and deadliest reptiles. The King Cobra, being the longest and venomous snake, can easily bring down an elephant. Similarly, the reticulated python is known to be the longest living snake species and can squeeze their prey, including humans, dead within minutes. Despite their not-so-friendly reputation, some individuals take care of them as pets. Regarding their differences, pythons are non-venomous constrictors, while the king cobra is known for its lethal poison. Also, pythons are often bigger, longer and camouflaged, while king cobras are much more agile. What do they look like? The king cobra snake is the largest of the venomous land snakes, growing up to 18.5 feet, 5.7 meters in length, and with a width of up to 1 foot, 0.3 meters at the neck. However, as they are generally slender, king cobras usually do not exceed 44 pounds, 20 kilograms in weight. The king cobra can lift a third of its body off the ground. Like other snakes bearing the cobra name, the king cobra can also flatten its neck, giving it the distinctive hood. When the king cobra is threatened or on the attack, it will hiss, rear up and flatten its neck ribs into the hood. Even though their scaly skin glistens, it is actually dry to the touch. Adult cobras are yellow, green, brown or black. Their throat is light yellow or cream colored. The family Pythonidae contains some of the largest snakes in the world. Most pythons are large snakes, such as the reticulated python, which can grow over 30 feet, 9 meters in length. The coloration and size of different species of python vary widely. Depending on their local habitats and need for camouflage, coloring can range from elaborately patterned scales, such as those on the Burmese python, to solid brown to bright green. Regardless of length, pythons are bulky for their size. They have triangular-shaped heads and sharp, backward-curving teeth that they use to grab prey. Arboreal pythons' teeth are longer than their terrestrial cousins. Where do they live? The king cobra snake lives in much of mainland Southeast Asia and throughout the dense highland forests. The king cobra has a preference for living in areas where there are lakes and streams as it is an excellent swimmer. King cobra populations have reclined in some areas of its range due to the destruction of forests. The king cobra is said to be the only snake which makes nests for its eggs. It is widely worshipped in India as Nagraja, king of snakes. Within Asia, Africa, Oceania and Australia, pythons stay in relatively warm, wet climates. Many species thrive in rainforests, though pythons also live in grasslands, woodlands, swamps, rocky outcrops, dunes and shrubs. Pythons shelter in hollows, under rocks, in abandoned mammal burrows and tree branches, depending on the species. As humans have developed python habitats, pythons have become accustomed to sheltering in urban debris and farms. Though native to the Old World, one species of python has made its home in the Western Hemisphere. The Burmese python is an invasive species that has been discovered living and successfully breeding in Florida. What do they feed on? These predators are Ophiophagus, which means that they eat other species of snakes, including other venomous snakes. Some of their most common prey includes rat snakes, pythons, other cobras, crates, and pit vipers. When food is scarce, they will feed on rodents, small mammals, reptiles, birds, and more. They hunt by following the odor trail of their prey. A good-sized meal can sustain a snake for months at a time, as they have incredibly slow metabolic rates. 
Pythons are notorious for slowly squeezing their live prey to death. They typically eat small mammals, such as mice, but pythons have been known to kill and eat much larger animals, such as pigs. To kill their prey, they first swiftly grab a live animal with their teeth and then begin to wrap their body around the animal. This is called constriction. The python stops the constriction process when the animal has suffocated before its bones are crushed. The python then unhinges its jaw and begins to swallow its prey, generally head first. Muscles within the snake's body work to push the food down the length of the body and digest the animal. How do they behave in the wild? King cobras are solitary creatures and only come together to mate. They are active throughout the day, but may also be seen at night. King cobras, like other snakes, receive chemical information via their forked tongue, which picks up scent particles and transfers them to a special sensory receptor located in the roof of their mouth. When annoyed, king cobras prefer to escape and avoid confrontation. However, if continuously provoked, they can be highly aggressive. When alarmed, they rear up the anterior portion of their body when extending the neck, showing the fangs and hissing loudly. If king cobras face a natural predator, such as the mongoose, which has resistance to the neurotoxins, these snakes generally try to flee. Because of their bulk, pythons move by scooting forward in a straight line. This is called rectilinear progression movement. Pythons stiffen their ribs for support against the ground, then lift their bellies and push themselves forward. It is a slow form of movement, and pythons can't go more than 1 mile per hour, 1.6 kilometers per hour. Many species of python are excellent swimmers, while others are arboreal. Unlike their close relatives, the boas, pythons lay eggs. But what's really remarkable is that most python mothers stay coiled around their eggs to protect them while the eggs develop. If the temperature gets too cold, the mothers of larger species warm their eggs up by shivering. Now let's see who would win a fight between a king cobra and a python. As one of the elipids, the king cobra kills its prey through its venom, which is injected through its hollow fangs while pythons rely on their abilities to camouflage, weight, and strength in constricting. Moreover, cobras can usually move faster due to their smaller size. Hence, they are known to follow and chase their prey. In terms of size, the python is clearly the winner. It is even longer, but much heavier than the king cobra. King cobra has a large venom sac of neurotoxic venom. Although not the most potent when compared and with other venomous species, the sheer quantity in its sac should be enough to finish off a python in a matter of 30 minutes. In contrast, a python must rely on its weight and muscle to asphyxiate a cobra. Although at first glance it would seem that both will kill each other, the scenario being simple, the king cobra being more agile, it will bite the python and the latter would simply catch and crush the cobra. In the end, they both end up dead. But the problem is, unlike warm-blooded mammals, snakes are cold-blooded and have very low metabolism. The head of a decapitated rattlesnake, for example, can survive for up to three hours post-trauma. This is because snakes need less food and oxygen for their biological activities. The python has to grip the king cobra for at least over three hours to asphyxiate the king, which is unlikely for the python as they don't have such endurance to contract their muscles for hours. Python muscles are developed to contract and hold prey with high metabolism like warm-blooded animals, which die by oxygen starvation in just 5 to 15 minutes. There was a case when a 5 feet long python gripped a 17 feet long cobra for over two hours. After putting his venomous fangs in the python, the king cobra released himself from its grip and slithered away in a pond nearby. 
but in this case, the python was quite small. However, I tend to tip the balance in favor of the cobra. What is your opinion? That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.